Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Jeff at LockdownSecurity.ca. I haven't made a video in quite some time because I have been away, but I am back now. And I am bringing you a video today. Actually, I'm making a lot of videos today to try and catch up on my absence. But uh, one of the videos that I'm making is on the new, for 2022, Sony XAV AX6000. Uh, single DIN yet double DIN multimedia receiver. Uh, or I should say digital media receiver because it doesn't have CD or DVD. Uh, that is Apple CarPlay compatible, Android Auto compatible, and most exciting for me is Maestro compatible. Uh, that's right, this model is compatible with iDataLink Maestro. As you can see, it's got a lot, a lot of other features too. It's got an HDMI port, it's got Sirius XM satellite radio uh, ready, you can plug the, the Sirius tuner in, and uh, quite a lot of other things. So I've got it here powered up on my little workbench. And I want to just go through some base features. I don't have a phone plugged into it, so I won't be able to show you CarPlay or Android Auto, but it's the same as any other experience with CarPlay or Android Auto. Uh, you would, uh, you'd you'd be familiar with if you've used the technology previous. I really like this radio. I have to start off by saying that. It's uh, very plain, very basic. It looks really, really sharp. The screen resolution is great, and the menu system is awesome, along with the hard buttons down along the bottom. So I'll just show you here, volume up and down. You've got your home button, which takes you to this home screen, which has got a nice analog clock as well as a digital style clock there. Uh, then you've got your sources. You've got your radio, so here. As you can see, no bells and whistles to the, to the display. It's very basic. It just tells you everything you need to know, whether you're on FM, AM, what station or what frequency. And uh, if you hit the home button, we can go back. Got your Sirius XM. If I had a Sirius XM tuner, this would come up, but I don't have one plugged in. Bluetooth for your uh, Bluetooth audio streaming. Hard rear camera button. So if I had a camera plugged into this, you would see essentially the video image and you've got that hard button on the home screen. What that means, um, you don't have to put the vehicle in reverse to see the rear cam, provided the camera is wired up to an ignition power source not a reverse power source. So the radio is gonna have a reverse switch wire. So when you put the vehicle in reverse, the radio would switch to the rear cam. But if you power the rear camera off of an ignition circuit, you'd be able to take advantage of the hard button. Just like that. Settings menu. Screen is pretty responsive, as you can see, scrolling up and down. And then you've got the all apps button. So your USB, your HDMI input, devices. I don't think we have anything paired to it, so obviously it's not gonna show anything. And then your phone, right? Um, so you can hang on while I turn the radio apart and I short out my power connections. I'm just gonna put the phone down for one moment. As you can see, I'm rusty on my YouTube videos. So I've got the radio that booted back up. So I just wanna show you a couple of things. The reason why I wanted to put the phone down, I wanted to show you, this is the chassis of the radio. You can see it's a single DIN chassis with a double DIN face. So for mounting capabilities, if you had a Maestro interface, you could always mount it under here when you're mounting it in the car. You've got your ISO mount holes um, and you could cage mount this. Now the radio does not come with a cage nor does it come with a trim ring. I'll show you what comes in the package, but basically here is the back of the radio. So you've got your uh, HDMI port right there, your USB port, your main harness. There's your Motorola style antenna port. You've got your RCA ports. You've got essentially your microphone in, your iData link in, wired remote in, GPS antenna, and then your RS-232 data. Uh, actually, this is gonna be your port for the Sirius satellite radio. My mistake, that's not the antenna port. The antenna port is right there. So that kind of gives you an idea of what the radio looks like and what the connections are like on the back. Let me just show you what comes in the box. So essentially what you're getting in the package You've got your RCA pre-outs, you've got a GPS antenna, your wired remote input, harness, and I believe that is about it. Oh, you've got a USB-C uh, K2 
cable so you can extend that out to uh, outside the back of the radio so it's a USB-C input this is basically a USB-C male to USB female it's an extension cable and uh, gives you the ability to plug your phone directly into that cable if you so choose I just want to take a look at one thing here ah yes the AX6000 has wireless Android Auto and wireless CarPlay. I was mistaken, I thought it didn't have that, but obviously you can see I'm pretty rusty in my videos. Just checking out the box, it does have wireless CarPlay and wireless uh, Android Auto, which makes this radio, I think, a content contender for one of the best radios of 2022 and 2023. Um, if you want a radio that means business, doesn't have any bells and whistles, very easy to control, very responsive, and very high quality at a very good price, the Sony XAV AX6000 should be in your future or should be a contender to be in your future. I will put links down below of this video for where you can find it on our website. If you or someone you know has any questions, sales at lockdownsecurity.ca or uh, shoot us a comment on this video, we'll be glad to answer it. Uh, lockdownsecurity.ca is our website, if you could, Give us a like on the video. It helps us to make more videos like this in the future. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. You'll get alerts of when we make more videos. And I promise I won't take a pause like I've taken so far. And uh, yeah, uh, really look forward to making more videos like this in the future for you. Thank you very much. Have a great day.